Hey, what's up guys? It's Cliff from Trail Grid Pro. Super pumped to be back with you today. We've got a 2019 Toyota Tacoma in the shop today, and we're gonna be putting in the brand new Sony 6000 in this Tacoma, and we're super excited to be able to show this to you today. In front of me, I've got the Sony 6000 box, and I also have the Sony 4000 box. And on top here is an example of our Sony 6000 plug and play bundle. The reason I have both of these boxes here is that you can see they're very similar. We're gonna be offering both of these bundles and the purpose of this intro is to show you exactly, hey, what are the differences between these two bundles? Because while there are a lot of similarities, there are some key differences and we wanna make sure you're fully informed before you decide to purchase either the Sony 6000 or the Sony 4000 for your Tacoma. Both the 6000 and the 4000 are compatible with 2016 to 2022 Toyota Tacomas. So let's get into the details about the similarities and the differences. So first of all, they're both gonna be a huge upgrade over your stock system. One, they have a clearer audio signal than your factory system, and then they also have more power. So those two components is gonna result in a much improved audio experience in your Toyota Tacoma. The other similarities are that it, they both have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is what guys and gals have been chomping at the bit for, for their Tacoma. Both the 4000 and the 6000 bundle are Maestro compatible. So what does that mean to you? Well, you're gonna retain your factory backup camera, you're gonna retain your steering wheel controls, and also any functionality that you currently are able to set, door locks, things like that, on your Tacoma will be retained. Now, the cool thing about Maestro is that you're gonna get all sorts of nice vehicle information that you've never seen before on your head unit, such as tire pressure, miles per hour, your intake, zero to 60, all sorts of good stuff that will provide value while you're either going down the road or stopped and you wanna check out some information about your vehicle. Both bundles are Sirius XM expandable and also have the same power. They're 20 watts by four RMS or 55 watts by four maximum power. Okay, so now let's get into some of the differences between the two. So while they both have a 6.95 inch touchscreen, they are very different screens. The 4000 has a resistive touchscreen where the 6000 has a capacitive touchscreen. So what does that mean? Well, the capacitive touchscreen is a bit more responsive, a little bit better user experience. Now, I don't want you to think that the resistive touchscreen won't be responsive or have a good user experience, the 6000 will just be a little bit more responsive, a little bit better of a user experience. Other details about the screen is that the 4000 does have an anti-glare screen where the 6000 does not. So the other difference is that the 6000 has a rear facing micro HDMI input, which you can use to stream, frankly, whatever you want. You can use a Roku stick, Amazon Fire Stick to watch things like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Apple TV, whatever you want, you can get right on your Sony 6000. And to accomplish that, you will need a micro HDMI to full HDMI adapter so that you can plug in any of those devices. And the Sony 4000 has a two volt pre-out while the Sony 6000 has a five volt pre-out. And lastly, in regards to warranty, the Sony 4000 has a one year warranty and the 6000 has a three year warranty. Okay, so those are some of the details about these two bundles. Again, we're gonna be showing you the 6000 install today, but here's the bottom line. Both of these are an upgrade over stock. So whichever one you choose that's right for you, you're gonna be happy. Okay, now that we've knocked out all the details, let's get in this rig and show you how easy it is to install this in your 2016 to 2022 Toyota Tacoma. Okay, so first step of disassembly is we need to remove this outer trim piece here and the easiest way to do that that i found is just grab this side and pull all right as you see there it's come detached and it's just held on by tabs and now let's come to the other side and the trim piece comes all the way off so we're going to set this aside all right next thing is we have to remove these four 10 millimeter bolts there's two on each side uh, you can use a handheld 10 millimeter socket wrench or a powered tool and we're gonna use a power here, just take it gentle and make sure you grab onto those as they start to come out so they don't get lost in oblivion. And what we like to do is we like to put those in the cup holder, that way you won't lose them. 
All right, so now that we have the four 10 millimeter bolts out, my recommendation is just put a microfiber towel down on your shift knob because all we're gonna do is just pull the entire head unit out and we can place it on the microfiber. All right, so now that we have the head unit out, we're just gonna remove all of the plugs from the back of the factory head unit, literally all of them. So look, we're just getting started on that. All right, we have the factory head unit all the way out. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna consider when you're about to install your new bundle is how you're gonna handle your Sony microphone. So it's gonna be in a bag here, um, which we can take out. And the way we prefer to get the microphone from behind the head unit uh, so that it can be routed to where it is, actually use a wire fish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this wire fish initially and just feed it down here to the floorboard you're going to find an opening there you, you might hit a few things on the way down all right so i've made it through to the floorboard here i can see my wire fish on the other end so all i'm going to do is i'm going to untie this you're going to take the jack end and just connect it to your wire fish nice and secure so now we're just going to gently pull that through all right so i've got the mic jack right here okay so we fished the wire through and we got the mic jack right here what we've also done is we've placed the microphone right here next to the gauge cluster it's got a clip um, it's right in front of us so it has good uh, audio from here so it's going to hear anything that you say despite road noise or anything like that. Um, in your kit we're also going to send a mount that allows you to keep the mic in your factory mic location in your headliner console if you so desire to route it up there and we have full instructions that tell you exactly how to do that. All right guys we've got the Sony 6000 Tacoma bundle right here. This is exactly how it's going to arrive when you order it already loaded in the Tacoma dash kit. We've got the side brackets here. And of course, all the wiring is already done for you. All of your connections already made. All you're gonna be doing is plugging stuff in. So let's go ahead with that process right now. So something that's helpful is we put a microfiber towel here on the shift knob because we can rest the screen just gently on it while we are making our connections. So let's start with the main harness connections, which are basically these four here. Um, now this is for a 2014 to 2019 Tacoma, so let's go ahead and start that. And again, these are keyed, so they will match their mate, which is nice. All right, so we've got all the main connectors done. And now the mic that we routed through, which is right here, here's the mic jack. It's gonna be put into the red port uh, labeled mic. Can't really miss that. So that's right there. All right, so we wanna make our GPS connection. And this is the only occurrence where there's gonna be two plugs which are exactly the same size. Fortunately, they're com two completely different co uh, colors. One here is black and one here is white. So the white connector right here is your factory GPS connector. And this black one right here, and I can orient them this way as well so you can see, uh, the black one is Sirius XM connection. So if you're retaining Sirius XM, you will plug this in to your Sirius XM adapter attached to your new Sirius XM module. And this one right here, the white one is your GPS. So I'm gonna make that GPS connection right here all right so this uh, installation we're not retaining Sirius XM but this is your plug right here if you want to maintain that and lastly we're going to plug in our USB retention cable now again this is wireless CarPlay wireless Android Auto but our bundle will retain your factory USB location for charging so that's why that's important so actually, that wasn't lastly, we have actually have the uh, antenna right there. Uh, so we'll plug in the antenna there, and that 
Looks like it's everything. It's always important to do a little check here and make sure you don't have anything outstanding to be plugged in. And we appear to be good to go. So at this point, we are ready to put the head unit into position. So again, you can just tuck these nicely behind the head unit. They fit really well. There's a lot of nice room back there. And we're going to use one of our, maybe two of our 10 mils to hold it into place while we run through a test. So before you button everything up, you're just going to want to run this through a test. So let's get these into position. All right, let's go ahead and fire this baby up into accessory power. Look at that. Starts right up. There's the big Sony screen. That's what we like to see. Awesome. All right, so you go through some initial setup here. Um, so on this front screen, we're going to want to do a couple things. We want to turn demo mode off. So we've done that right there. And, and guys, this beeping that the head unit is doing when you power it up, you can turn that off. So don't worry about that. So let's set the date here. So today is September 16th. All right, we've got that there. And the time format will go 12 hour date format. That looks good. The time is 11.56 a.m. All right, so we've got that there. So we have all that set. Okay. All right, let's run through how easy it is to pair this for wireless CarPlay. So we'll just go into settings there, into devices, and let's add a device. All right, so it's telling us to go to our phone, go to Bluetooth, and search and wait for the AX6000 to show up. So we're waiting for it here to show up. And there's lots of other things. We're in a business district, so all sorts of things are popping up. There it is. So let's go ahead and click that. And it's going to ask us to, looks like, follow our prompts. Yep, 650818, 650818. Yep, we're going to pair there. We're going to pair here. Allow contacts and everything to sync. Yes. I think we're going to get one more prompt to allow CarPlay. Yep, there we go. One more prompt, Apple CarPlay, and we are connected. Woo! That's the sound we like to hear. There we go. So CarPlay connected in like a matter of seconds. We've got full CarPlay. The same rings true for Android Auto. For Android Auto, you will need to download the Android Auto app in order to make that connection. Um, so you want to make sure you do that before you get it up and running. So let's just check a few things. Um, we got full steering wheel controls here we got volume we can skip songs here again i'm just showing you that it's skipping songs uh, we're not playing the music here um, but it obviously will play we'll give you a little feature here of what it so we've got a song starting right here it sounds great That sounds pretty awesome. Like I said, this is a huge upgrade over stock. Um, not only from a, it has more power than stock. So we're talking about 55 watts by four max power, but also the clarity, the sound quality is just far superior, which is awesome. All right, so let's power up the vehicle real quick just so we can check the backup camera. There we go. Full backup camera works. We've got extra grids here. You can turn off the grids uh, on the Sony head unit so that there's just one grid, but um, lots of cool grid lines there. Obviously we're inside, so that's why you see some office chairs and things like that, but it obviously works very well. All right, so everything is working as it should. So let's get the other two 10 mils in there. Uh, we can just get them in, start them finger tight, and then we can tighten them down with whatever you have, whether it's a manual socket wrench or powered. All right, now that we've got that all in position, let's go ahead and put our dash cover back on. All right, and we are all the way in, and we are looking very slick. Here it is, the brand new Sony 6000 in a 2019 Toyota Tacoma. Again, this is gonna fit any 2016 to 2022 Tacoma. So now that this is in place, let's, uh, let's run through this 
once more. Let's put it in accessory power. All right, so one thing to note here, we're going to see how quickly CarPlay is going to connect. There we go. CarPlay pops up in what? What was that? Three, four seconds, right when you fire up the vehicle. That's super quick. That's what we'd expect from wireless CarPlay. Now, when we talk about our different bundles, we've got the 6,000, we've got the 4,000, now, you know, the 8,100, we've got the 9,500 ES, the 6.95 inch screen. This is for the folks that are looking for that factory look. You don't maybe necessarily want a larger screen. That's not important to you. This is flush. This looks like exactly like it came from the factory. It sits in there nicely. This brand new bezel design that Sony has for the 6,000 and 4,000 is sweet. This right here is a sticker. It says Maestro compatible. You can take that off, but you get everything out of here that you would expect from a Sony head unit. So if you go to the home screen here, just a few things to go through here um, is that you can view your rear camera at any time. So there's a button right there for it to view your rear camera, which is pretty cool. Um, some other features is, of course, we talked about HDMI connectivity. If you want to route an HDMI port down to an empty switch or something like that, you can certainly connect there and you know view any HDMI compatible device. Um, we've got vehicle info here. We've got gauges. So we don't have the vehicle on, but we can get an idea here of what the gauges look like. I mean, here we've got miles per hour, RPMs, our fuel, our intake, and then also we've got zero to 60 quarter mile, uh, braking, all sorts of cool stuff that we didn't have access to before. Obviously what's gonna happen is when we start up the vehicle, um, these will load, but right now the vehicle's off, but all that information is gonna come in here. So let's head back here. We're also gonna take a look at vehicle information. So this is all still loading. We haven't really started up the vehicle to show this, but you're gonna get your tire pressure if you have a TPMS system currently on your vehicle. We're gonna get an engine status. It's gonna tell us it's okay, and we're gonna get our battery voltage. So that's all there as well. One of the other cool features of the 6000 is how you can really dial into the sound in your Tacoma. So let's just go into settings here. We can go into sound, we can go to the EQ, and here you have the 14 band EQ. So you can really dial into the way that you like to listen to music. It is completely customizable, which is awesome. All right, let's go ahead here and jump into CarPlay. One of the things we like to do right off the bat is we like to change the wallpaper to all black. We feel that it, man, that looks super clean right there. And that's the way we like, it looked just flush right with the dash. You've got this screen just sitting in there that just honestly looks like it's supposed to be there. So here you have everything that you'd expect out of CarPlay, phone, music, maps, Apple Maps, Google Maps, and Waze. With Android, you've got Google Maps and Waze. So you've got all of those great navigational apps at your disposal, which are fantastic. And again, just everything that you'd expect out of CarPlay. Any iOS or Android compatible app will display on your head unit and it'll look amazing. All right, guys, well, that wraps this up. We are super pumped about this new 6000 for Toyota Tacomas. We showed you the complete disassembly and install today so that you can easily do this in your garage for your 2016 to 2022 Tacoma. You can grab these right now in the Trail Grid Pro Shop at www.trailgridpro.com. And guys, as always, have a blast out there.